All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am here in uh, Colorado, still north of Denver here. I don't know if you guys can see these mountains behind me. It's just beautiful. Like this, this whole area is absolutely beautiful. It's a little cooler today than it was yesterday. Um, so my last video I talked about, I was gonna come up to wherever I was going. Uh, and it's gonna pick up a load of empty beer cans, take them over to Pennsylvania. But that didn't work out. I'm gonna show you why. They, uh, they rejected my trailer. And I got a company van here, obviously. Um, so they wanted a, a plated trailer. I don't, I didn't know what a plated trailer was, uh, and neither did the agent. So it's kind of a, oops, our bad. But the, uh, they want a trailer that is completely flush all the way down. I don't know if you can tell, but from here to here, there's kind of a, a dip. Like this is further in than the wall but this is the problem if this wasn't here all the way down on both sides they'd be able to fit the pallets in going there but they can't because this uh this three-eighths of an inch half inch or so plastic rubber piece that is like a protector is uh it's too wide so they couldn't put the pallets in here so they rejected the trailer even though there was no other issues, the, the trailer was smooth all the way down. Um, obviously, they're that up there, but they didn't care about that because the load doesn't go that high. But yeah, they rejected the trailer last night because they put me in the dock. They told me, just make sure it's clean, everything's good. So after about 45 minutes after I checked in, they, look, oh, there's a Subi. <laughs> Mega sneeze. Thank you. Um, so after about uh, 45 minutes of waiting after I've checked in, they told me to get in the dock, slid the tandems, got in the dock, all that good stuff. And I don't know, they started to load me. The guy called me after being in the door for a minute. And he's like, hey man, I tried to put both these pallets in here, but they, they'll fit going in, but trying to pull them out, they'll bust the pallets. So we can't risk tearing up the product at the delivery so they're like I'm sorry we can't load your trailer so I went around the other side of the building uh, parked for the night and make sure the latch is there uh, got up this morning and just started looking for a load and here it is uh, 126 finally got a good load out of here uh, 20,000 pounds 250 to a mile uh, that's pretty good considering it's going back to the east area. Uh, it's a Dick Sporting Goods drop and hook load. So I'm happy about that. I can drop and hook on Sunday and I can be ready for a new load on Monday. And yeah, run the rest of the week tomorrow. Um, or uh, next week, I mean. And yeah, try to make some more money. So I'm going to get on the road. Get down here to Denver to the the shipper and get loaded try to get on over there as soon as I can see you guys in a bit all right guys we are uh, I'm going to Peora Street I've been over there before uh, 2.3 miles out so not too far away just down uh, I had to go down 25 over to 270 and now I'm on seven what is this? 70? Yeah, 70 eastbound here. Um, can you? I don't know what I was gonna say. This car that got in front of me that lost my train of thought. But anywho. Um, I got a question for you guys. Do you like the like point of view backing up? Do you like where it's mounted on like the mirror or something like that? Or do you like it where, you know, it's closer to the dock and you're watching the actual whole truck, everything move? Let me know what you guys like. Um, you know, I definitely, like I've said before, I wanna do, put out the content that everybody enjoys. Um, 
alternate route advised, Mountain View. Okay, that's not pertaining to me. Um, we're going right over there somewhere. I gotta get off this exit. But yeah, let me know what you guys think or what your opinion is as far as the uh, the view for backing up. That's the building I need to go to. Airhead Sports Group, 104. That's where I need to go. Wonder what that is. I wonder if that's like um, like airsoft stuff. Or what? No trespassing. Where is 104? I want to call them and figure out what door I need to be in. We'll go from there. All right, so I called them. Apparently I was on the wrong side of the building. But uh, walked into the door up there. And I gotta back into Dock 65, which is just behind me. So, got the doors open. I gotta slide the tandems. I uh, went ahead and pulled the bar out to release the pins. So, uh, gonna get this thing put in the dock. Exactly. Do anything. Well, we'll get back to it here in a second. 
We got our bills and uh, I've shut the doors, slid the tandems forward already. And it's 21,000, like 416 pounds. It's loaded all the way to the back. Uh, he had to actually seal it. So, yeah, that sucks, but whatever. Got it sealed. Didn't get to show you guys the inside of it. But uh, let's get on the road. Once again, we get to play in some traffic. <laughs> it's like all there is out here in Denver. 
I don't know if y'all can see the mountains in the distance, but it's just absolutely beautiful. dumbass has been going the wrong way on 70. We're going 70 west. No wonder the freaking mountains are looking pretty and getting closer. Yeah, it's supposed to be going east. Dumbass. So, it's freaking ridiculous. Had a U turn and fight all that traffic all over again because. I'm not paying attention. Oh, hell, there's a double turn lane. I did not realize that. I'm talking to Showtime. Go follow him on Instagram, Showtime underscore 86. Big pimpin' over there. He drives a Cascadia. <laughs> oh, he's got a classic. He's getting it back on the road. <laughs> you don't you don't show off your Cascadia you drive? But it's such a cute little truck. It's <laughs> sitting in traffic for about three miles um, it's been kind of like this just creeping stop every now and then uh, I guess there's an accident up here the left lane's closed uh, something happened in the median I don't know to the extent of what happened but right now I'm just sitting in traffic other than that the ride from Denver to this point uh, it's been Pretty simple, nothing really going on. I uh, met with my dad in Kansas City and was able to go pick up some Christmas presents for my wife and kids. Um, yeah, I just got to hang out with him for a little bit again. And went over there to, to go to Jose Peppers. I guess like a Mexican chain over there. Pretty good. But, uh, just happy to get some time with him. Pick up some Christmas gifts, makes things a little easier. I can get them wrapped before I get home. But 
other than that, just been sitting in traffic. Just uh, sitting here, like I said, for about three miles now. And yeah, <laughs> I did wind up shutting it down in Kansas City. It took him a little longer to finish up one of his jobs that he was working on. A lady's house, getting some, some drywall taken care of or something for a bathroom or something like that. But anywho, hopefully, well, it looks like we're going to be moving here pretty well now. I got the camera where it is now because you guys can't see anything at night when it's, uh, I'm using the head cam, so hopefully y'all can see things a little better here than if I was wearing it. Yeah, the sign says we got left lane closed. I have no idea what yardstick this is at. They've been saying it backed up back there, like the 147. This is eastbound on 70. Um, it looks like we're getting close to it here with the flashing lights, so. Hopefully we can get out of this here soon. crazy that's happened to us today the uh my wife and our kids went to a like a craft show thing today in town and came back and somebody left like a big gift basket and uh some toys and stuff for our kids on our porch and you guys ought to check that out uh at chaos on the move on instagram i believe she did a live or a, a story there but just amazing how kind people are even though we still have all this craziness going on in the world there's a whole lot more kind and loving people than what the uh, media seems to portray the yeah it's pretty nice we've only met one of our neighbors uh, she actually met the other one that went in on the gift basket as well today so uh, pretty neat of them to do that definitely didn't have to do that and uh, it's just nice Kind of gives you hope for the world. Earlier I passed a uh, hot shot parking lot parked on the side of the road his hazards on and he's out front and in, in front of his Dodge pickup truck and he kept like bending over and, and kneeling it looked like he was looking underneath the, the front of the truck but um, I started looking a little closer and noticed his shoes were sitting behind him I guess this big truck was in the ditch yeah this big truck right here uh, my little FLD. Well, hopefully they're all right. That crap is no fun. Uh, he was parked on the side of the road doing his prayer. I, I don't know a whole lot about the, the Muslim community or if that's exactly what he was. But that, the, the, those are the only ones that I know. I think they face east and they, they do a prayer at a certain time, like bend down and kneel. And, put their face to the ground and whatever. I'm not knocking it. I don't have a problem with you worship, but I don't care. I just thought it was kind of strange, like you're on the side of the road. It's kind of dangerous. It kind of worried me for his safety and for everybody else's safety. It's just a little strange. Get fuel up here, I think, in Terre Haute, Indiana. 
you guys in a bit. All right, so uh, last night I stayed here at the Richmond Petro and New Paris, Ohio, Richmond, Indiana, wherever it is actually. Um, off of 70, it's right on the state line. But this is the spot I pulled into when I got here. Like it's literally the second spot. I don't know if you can see it in the mirror there. So it's the, it's like right here in front of the building. I've never parked this close to a building before. Uh, and I pulled in at like oh, 9.45, almost 10 o'clock last night. So I was kind of shocked that this spot was still here. But whatever, it was easy. I can't complain. Um, so today I got to get on over there to uh, the Dick Sporting Goods DC. Um, roughly nine hours out, no big deal. Um, get over there, drop and hook, and then get back down into Pennsylvania uh, for my next load. So I've already made breakfast. I gotta update my logbook here, and then we'll get on the road. Get out of here. Run through Columbus and all that other good stuff. So let's get on the road. escort driver for FEMA trailers back in like 2012 they uh with Katrina I guess it was that hit down there in Texas we'd haul them up from or haul them down to Texas from Maryland they paid me a dollar a mile to drive a little car behind a semi truck hauling a motor or a mobile home Pretty good money. I like to do oversize. I think it'd be fun. Give these guys some room here. Try to get on around them. They must be on a different channel because generally you hear them talking all the time about what's coming around and what's going on. to uh, 
Oh, Showtime this weekend, or tomorrow. Depending on which way we go out of Pennsylvania, where he's going. He's over there in Maryland somewhere. Told me his son was, uh, they were over looking at his classic, and his son, Sean, was like, yeah, I watch another YouTuber that uh, used to work at Equity, and Tarod is like, uh, yeah, Nomad. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I used to work with him. <laughs> so, what's up, Sean? I haven't seen you in years. There's only two people I still talk to from Equity, and that's been four years. Yeah, about yeah, four years now I've worked at, at Landstar, so. Him and Eric. Come to realize that most people just they come in your life for a short time and that's it. Not really meant to be there long term. But Tehran or Showtime. That's one cool dude. He's never been a yes man. Oh, I'll tell you. He's always told me how it is, how he sees it, regardless if I want to hear it that way or not. No, I think that's a true friend. Not too many people in the world like that nowadays. Most of them don't want to hurt your feelings or whatever. But he's always told me how it was. And I've always appreciated that. Another oversize. Isn't there something about uh, oversized restrictions on the weekends in certain states? Is it Tennessee? Oversized can't run on the weekend. I know there's... Uh, certain states have certain hours that you can run, like half hour before sunrise and half hour before sunset, or a half hour after sunrise. You can only run in between those hours. Which I get to a point, that's a larger vehicle, they could be sticking out way over the lines. I mean, that makes sense. Bixby's been listening, trying to get me to talk to her. I don't want to talk to her. I wonder if we're going to run into some snow up here. Probably should check the weather, right? Waving in the wind as she should. Beautiful thing. We gotta get a flag to hang out at our house. I'll have to buy one.
right, guys, we are, uh, let's see here, 1.2 miles out. And I know I said I wouldn't be doing a whole lot of night driving, recording, but obviously this uh, circumstance warrants that. So get on over here to the Dick's DC. Ha uh ha. -huh. How do you name a place that, not giggle? Video. Put my childish ways aside. Oh. This whole event has been relatively uneventful, like I've mentioned. The, uh, I did have to stop and take a 30 minute break. Then I stopped at a rest area in Pennsylvania on 80. And change lanes here. Um, my heater stopped working, like my blower fan stopped working. So I checked the breakers because I learned my, le my lesson last time with not checking that first. And uh, yeah, that was the problem. I swapped it out with a new breaker and a relay, whatever they're called, and it came on. There for a while, it was only working like one to three. Number four would not work, which is the highest setting. Um, but now I got a new breaker in it, all of them work, which is nice. I can actually run my heat the way I need to. I told y'all what I have, the inflatables. So I have like summer stuff. <laughs> um, like rafts and all that kind of stuff, which is weird. But I guess they get that stuff ready for the next season. almost 100% positive they are not gonna want me recording pulling in here see how close we can get <laughs> it's been a long day alright y'all leave me alone So, went in the, uh, I guess I was supposed to stop at the window at the guard shack, and I didn't do that, because the window was like three feet higher than the actual truck, or the truck window, I should say, but, um, yeah. She signed the bills, told me to drop and hook, told me where to get my empty, um, Basically made it pretty simple. Went in, got my empty, uh, came back out, and the light on the front of the trailer is on, and it's because this thing is, let me show you all this. Off the bead. Isn't that exciting? I know it's exciting. But, it will seal going down the road because it is getting air uh, I've had to do that before with uh, Landstar trailers the nice thing is they have that 
inflator system in them so you can kind of keep on going and it'll keep pumping air to it if you get a, a small leak or something so i'm gonna get on down the road get out of new york at least uh get over like the rest area or something in pennsylvania and hey, this is the light i was telling y'all about right there that one is glowing underneath the seven that lets the uh the driver know that there's air being used in the system and kind of indicates that hey you might have a leak you might have a flat tire airbag might have been blown whatever a number of things could have happened but that just lets you know that the trailer is using air uh, anywho so you guys have seen it um like i said there wasn't a whole lot going on here but um please as always like share subscribe uh, drop me a comment let me know what you think follow me on instagram if you haven't already it's at nomad.trucker um, you can also follow our family page um, it's chaos on the move and dino underscore princess underscore mom is my wife so uh post a lot of our stuff that we do on there might start putting more stuff on this channel uh kind of like since we're not doing the rv thing anymore start doing more of uh bringing like the chaos on the move rv channel off of youtube kind of start bringing that stuff onto this channel showing a little more of our of our day-to-day -day lives um as far as like home life what we do as a family just things like that so let me know what you guys think about that um like i said any comments questions feel free to drop them in the comment section below like share subscribe um yeah i'm gonna get on down the road and get over to um a rest area truck stop somewhere somewhere back into pennsylvania i don't like being in new york but that's a story for another day so let's get to it see y'all love y'all be safe and have a merry christmas